All right, Schlockmeister fans, Cleo Smith, Goldsmith, star of Honey. This is the gift, otherwise known as La Cadeau. She put laugh and loves back into his life. Let's check it out. This is Gregor, played by Pierre Mondé. That's his wife, Claudia Cardinal. He's about to retire from the banking industry. I believe this is Gregor's son and his girlfriend, Charlotte. I think they're in a different city. Now look, Charlotte, how many times do I have to explain it to you? I'll tell you one more time. Everything's changed in my love life. You understand that? Yeah, maybe so, but, but let me tell you, it won't last long. I think they're like, going to break up or something. Gagar's co-workers are looking to get him a present. Four hundred so far. What sort of going away present can we get in? He doesn't smoke, doesn't drink. As far as sex goes, I bet he's no stud. Oh, how would you know? Anyway, Freddie and me have a bright idea. We'll tell you later. There's the actress Claire Goldsmith. She plays Josie, or Barbara, as she's called here. Oh dear, so wake us all the time. Well, let's face it, I haven't been in your class. How's the first speed? Folks, fine, except for father. His rheumatism is bothering him. She's going to be the present they give to Gregor. Yeah, she's a high-paid, high-paid prostitute, and they're going to give it, give him to her as a gift on his trip. Josie, I'm sorry, Barbara. And don't let the money get excited. Don't worry, guys like that, he's not disease. He's basically been unwelcoming to everybody who's wanted to come in there. He's shooting them away, but not her. Excuse me, you know how it is when you start to spread out. Pardon me. And actually, now she thinks this is. I've got to admit, you're not so bad. Gregor. You're a pretty nice guy. I think she's trying to get and even with him or something to me more because of her son. Excuse me, sir. I believe you wanted to see. It's a mistaken identity room. thing. Is anything wrong with it? And now she gets a little teasy on the plane, on the train. No, but I would love to see your neck. What? Here, let me take that. He was supposed to get off here, but instead he's going to stay with her for a while. This is crazy. Crazy. Yes. Right. Oh, look, goodbye, my brother. Oh. What is it? It's Bartoloni. Who's he? Bartoloni, from the bank. He's... So they end up in a hotel room. What are you doing? What, are, what am I doing? I, well, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I I saw you again, and, and, and I thought you thought, yeah, you thought it was about time to go through. I'm going to take a bath. Should I run off for you when I'm through? Now the other guy... You're the one who forced your way into my bank. Is now in my Venice. Office. Into my private life. Because of your son. Yes, well, uh, that's another story. Yeah, well, why did you bring me here anyhow? Because I was taken with you, Charlotte. Oh, it's because you wanted to screw me, that's all. And you, didn't you? I mean, after all, surely the thought must have occurred to you. Yeah, well, sure, but I expected it to happen like in all the books. You... They end but up worry. in bed together. I won't bore you. You'll hear it all another time. When we know each other better. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. I was just thinking. And it occurred to me that I don't even know what your phone number is. Why don't you get to your bath? I'll... Oh, yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, Charlotte and Gregard's son. Jojo, I got screwed. Well, good. You're free to do what you want. I know, but it was in the most revolting way. Look, if you don't mind, spare me the details, huh? Is that why you called? No, I'm calling from Venice. I'm here with the banker at the Dojo Hotel. Don't you understand? Well, good for you. Enjoy it. How can you say that? I just slept with your father. But it's not his father. Now wait, you're suffering from hallucinations. So. Why no, Charlotte? We we spent a wonderful night together, but you have nothing to worry about. We did nothing that went beyond the limits of decency. Well, maybe not, but I still spoiled everything. I was saving myself for him all along. And when you're 19, well, nowadays, it's a real proof of love, you know? I'm sorry, Charlotte, but I'm afraid I don't follow you. Do you mean to insinuate that... You know very well what I mean. Gugara travels through Venice now, and then somebody recognizes him. 
he tries to hide because he's with Hooker, not his wife. Oh, you old dear, you. Imagine seeing you in Venice. We spoke of you and Antonella just the other night, didn't we, Henry? Oh, oh yes, we did. How is the children? Entschuldigen, ich verstehe nicht, was eine... So he pretends to be German, so it's a mistaken identity. Not sure what this is all about. Don't you think we ought to? It's not. It's for what nuclear reactor? No, no, no. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, two. But it's not. There's no big rush. I hear she realizes that she wasn't screwing his dad. Are you Gregory Dufour? Why yes. What? But the president of the Transalpine Bank for five generations? Oh, I guess that's right, that's right. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, <gasps> What's the matter? Isn't Barbara in there with you? Why, no. For once I got Faisal in the mood without assistance. What's wrong? Because she tells me she saw Barbara leave for the airport. Oh, it had to happen sooner or later. Uh, you don't, you don't. You don't suppose she left you a note? No, yeah, maybe. Back to his wife. I took stock. That's all. A sort of, uh, of inventory of our life together with its pluses and its minuses. And you found a large deficit. Well, you know what? I don't believe you needed two days in Milan to discover that. So, Ricard desi designs a game where they're going to pretend they don't know each other. Some sort of like sex game. I agree. Can't you say hello? I thought we decided we don't know each other. So he tells her what coach he's going to be on, what room in there, and she's this going to come in. Pretend they don't know each other. Yes, but more than one. So she starts teasing. As many as you want, but not together. No, what gives me a real kick is playing the role of thousands of different women in the course of one day. You know what I mean? To know the hot embrace of one lover at lunchtime and to find yourself in the arms of someone new an hour later. So it doesn't quite work out as they planned. You pay for that. Oh, no! Let go! I'm free! Let go! In the name of everybody oh, The list is too long in court three. Oh. No! Ah. You're the one who's gonna pay. A little while later, they're playing the game again. No. Let's say that we were separated. Only very recently. Oh. Ah. There, you see that? That's the Palazzo di Bianzi. They're friends of mine. We might even go there tonight. You often cheat on the poor man. But then it just kind of ends with them abruptly laughing. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about the gift. La cadeau. That's a French word, meaning... The Gift. It's a movie that showed up on cable way back in the 80s, late 80s, I think. I never saw it, never watched it, knew nothing about it. I think it did anyway. It stars Cleo Goldsmith, who was in a movie called Honey, which I reviewed, which is also a cable movie. Um, quite a beautiful actress, by the way. That's probably how I ended up picking up The Gift. Um, uh, not available on uh, DVD that I could uh, confirm. I do have a pre-recorded VHS of this. I burned a DVD-R and made some homemade box art here, as you see. No picture on the back on this one. But um, I did find something online that indicated it might be available on a DVD, a pa like a PAL DVD from overseas. I couldn't confirm that, although I couldn't find it. I don't know. If somebody can confirm it for me. Um, let me know, because I'd like to pick it up. Anyway, the movie itself, I didn't really care for it all that much. A little long, for one thing. It's like an hour and 42 minutes or something. Near as I could tell, uh, there's this old guy named Gregor who's retiring from the banking industry or something like that, and his friends decide to give him a gift, a la cadeau. Uh, as a going away present, and the gift is a hooker. This one right there, Cleo Goldsmith. Apparently, she's the sister of one of his co-workers. Um, yeah, my sister's a hooker. Go figure that. So let's, let's put her, let's put her to work with one of my buddies. So that's what happens. Uh, they arrange for her to go meet with him on a train somewhere or something like that, and he doesn't, doesn't know anything about it. 
Uh, but she kind of like woos him and they end, do end up in bed together. And there's some like mistaken identity stuff. Apparently Gregar's son is dating this girl named Charlotte. I think they split up or something like that. So Charlotte wants to get back in him. I'm not exactly sure what she was trying to do. She ends up sleeping with who she thinks is Gregar's father. And I'm not sure exactly why she did that, but it was a mix up. It wasn't Gregar's father. I think it was Gregar's boss or something. I don't know. Somehow they all ended up going from Paris to Venice. And uh, he was, uh, Gregar was walking around with Cleo Goldsmith, um, uh, whose name is Barbara in this movie. And uh, he sees some friends of his come by and they recognize him. And he's trying to hide it because he's walking with somebody who's not his wife. Uh, he is married, by the way. Um, but then he starts talking in German to pretend that he's not who he is. And then they say, oh, startling resemblance, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, they all end up in Venice. Somehow his wife, who's played by, I think her name is Claudia Cardinal or something like that. Also a beautiful actress. Um, she shows up in Venice. She meets her husband. Somehow they like start to hit it off again. The last thing in the movie is them laughing together. And I guess they're going to be fine. Their husband and wife again. I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't get this movie. It got kind of slow and boring for a while. I think I picked up this movie because I thought Cleo Goldsmith was a beautiful actress and she was like fully new in the movie Honey running around. She only has a couple nude scenes in this one, so it was a little disappointing to waste 100 minutes of my life watching it just for a few little boob shots from her. But whatever, right? Anyway, I got nothing more to say about The Gift. I didn't really care for it that much, so. Anyway, I'm curious if anybody else has ever seen this movie. Actually, it does have some halfway decent reviews for the few people who have reviewed it on IMDb. Um, I didn't care for it, though. Anyway, let me know if you've seen this movie. Leave some comments. I do say Cleo Goldsmith is beautiful, and we'll just go with that. Watch it. Bye.